Rhode Island broke the single day record for coronavirus cases. The Department of Health reporting 566 new positive cases today. Governor Raimondo announced seven new revisions to phase three because of the spike. 12 News reporter Rob Nesbitt joins us now with more on how restaurants are being restricted. Restaurants will have to end service at 10 p.m. on weeknights and 10.30 p.m. on Fridays and Saturdays. Owners and managers I spoke to aren't sure how they'll survive the new closing times. Rhode Island will have a stay-at-home advisory of 10 p.m. starting Sunday. The announcement coming from Governor Raimondo, and as a result, restaurants will have to close early. The later the night goes on, the more people put their guard down. She says that COVID inspectors have found people mingling in restaurants without masks during late nights. Bob Burke from Pot of Fur in Providence says more restrictions on places taking appropriate measures makes no sense. I think what we all know is that the virus doesn't suddenly get more dangerous uh, because of the time on the clock. Next door at Leali, closing time is normally 1 a.m. during the week and 2 a.m. on weekends. Owner Philippe Matouk says changing the time will result in a huge loss of revenue. I don't think it's fair. I don't think it's fair. To make up for losses, Governor Raimondo says grant money will be made available for impacted bars and restaurants. We see the minimum of $2,000 and a maximum of $10,000 based upon how much business they typically do. Assistance that industry workers say doesn't go far enough, leaving them concerned about the possibility of layoffs or even closures. It's not enough for half my rent. Yeah. So it's, it's going to be a problem. Governor Raimondo says that the phase three revisions will be in place for the next two weeks. She'll then reassess to see if stricter COVID rules will have to be put into place. Reporting in studio, I'm Rob Nesbitt, 12 News.